And now, coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria, it's Moments Girls Talk. Tonight's guests are VJ Adams and gospel artist Nikki Laoye, with the hosts. They all go passionate as we talk seeking peace in times of crisis. It's all over the world, people that are fighting, so if there are any wars in particular countries as we speak, they will be putting down their arms because it's World Peace Day. Nikki Laoye shares what she would do to support world peace despite singing. Why are you thinking that this person deserves to die? Why do you think that no, no, you know, it all starts with the mind and that's what I just believe we need to even do first to change people's change mindsets. Change people's mindsets first. VJ Adams draws attention back to cyberbullying, the most basic terrorism often overlooked. So one time I remember someone tweeted at me and said, I think stop singing. And I replied, I said, stop breathing. Ooh, okay. Mm. You know, so just once in a while, just <laughs> keep there. Mm. It all happens now. Welcome back to Moments Nigeria Girls Talk. With us in the studio are Nikki Laoye and Vijay Adams. Today is world peace. So we're going to be discussing world peace all over the world. People that are fighting, so if there are any wars in particular countries as we speak, they will be putting down their arms because it's World Peace Day. So many things have been going on this year. Yeah. Yes. Bombings in Nice, in Belgium, in different places. The world seems to be, I, I, I think to put it bluntly, in a bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is a it, big mess. Is, Michelle, is it really? Because my sister and I had this conversation and, you know, we were talking about how it feels like the world is coming to an end, especially if you're a Christian. It feels like the world is coming <laughs> mm. to an end. But imagine what it felt like during World War One. You know, oh, and World War II. Like ten times Those worse. were intense no, no, wars. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Like, Those were intense wars, right? And it's a situation where we are Things are changing. Mm -hmm. We know about what's happening everywhere, primarily because of technology. Yeah. Yeah. But in so many ways, I feel like there's almost more peace than more war overall in the world. What, do you know what I was mm -hmm. trying to say? Mm -hmm. was I think that those years, they were, you knew what caused the wars. You could, you could explain ethnic issues, you know, these people thinking they own this land. Mm -hmm. You could explain. Well, how do you explain a guy just walking into a mall and shooting people up? Like, yeah. how do you explain True. somebody who just decides to put her child in the field? Do you know? It's about war and violence. And violence. I think it's everything. It's war and violence. World peace. Everything. It's the same thing. Yeah. So you find a guy who just wakes up in the morning, just doesn't like the way you look, and just shoots you up just because. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you know what I mean? So yes. I feel like back then, most of the World War II slave trade, they, they, they were motives behind. These people hadn't gotten along for so long. Mm. We're fighting for borders. We're fighting for ethnic issues. True. But these days, I don't understand it. You read stories every single day in the news about people who just do crazy. You just drive into a place. It, it, front, first they said it was religious, but now it's not really. It's religious. It has nothing to do with it because they're killing it's themselves. Way, it's way more than So even, even back in Nigeria, in Africa, Look at what's going on in Nigeria. Look at Syria. Look, it's crazy. You're like chills every day. What's I, think, I think the world has become a lot more dangerous than it was a few years ago. I understand what you said earlier, mm -hmm. and I agree with you there, but it's not a safe world to live in. It's whether right, you're in Africa, crazy. whether you're in Europe, whether you're in the US, mm -hmm. it's not a safe world to live in, and it's very different from how it was a few years ago. Right. And it's more crazy for, for someone like me per personally because I'm actually a humanitarian mm -hmm. and I've been working with uh, the government agency, uh, the Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons and we've been handling this crisis that's been going on in northern Nigeria for a while. When you go to these IDP camps, you, for a moment you're like, wait, this is Nigeria, yeah. as in like, it's not another country. And it's been very, very crazy. You know, when we're there working with the children and we're just like, like last year when um, Yemi Aladi asked to come along with me to one of the IDP camps and we went together, even Yemi wanted to freak out because she was like, Nikki, are you serious? I'm like, don't worry, you'll be fine. And you know, we sat down there with the children and some of them don't even know where their parents are anymore. They lost their parents while they were running. And it's, it's just crazy and you know, I'm like, Gosh, what, what's happening to our world? What's yeah. happening to our country? Yeah. I know. You know? It's, for me, it's quite pathetic to, um, to think about the fact that I am Muslim and all, most of this uh, craziness going on is associated to Islam mm. on a high level. And knowing full well that I am sitting right next to a beautiful, adorable woman right now. And I'm no terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm not carrying no bomb. And there's, there's no part in the Quran or that I'm aware of that says kill people or kill your fellow. Yeah. That's like Tucker said, it's not religious anymore. Yeah. But the media has made it look like it's always religious. It's about Islam, killing Christians, and yada, yada, yada stuff. But I think world peace starts from me and you, right? Yeah, it starts true. from social media craziness. So someone posts a picture, and they're like, what's he going to do? He's going to see his bigot. 
Who doesn't think he is? <laughs> Start from there. Because there's so much hate in people's hearts. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. think about it. You can't even see me. You probably never see me. And I have the chance to probably block you if, after reading your message. Yeah. But you, you feel so much happiness in your own world mm. to think you've think made me that. sad by putting out that message. Yeah. It starts from there. One it's of just that, that, that little you. One of the things that I think that is actually really dangerous, as much as it's fantastic that social media has made us you know, able to communicate faster, right. yeah. it brings the news in an instant and, and basically updates you on everything that's happening and exposes a lot of the things that are going wrong All in the world. Right. Yeah. It's also something that I think is very negative because since you're Muslim, I'm going to say this, one of the things that really upsets me, especially in Nigeria, is that there's this huge anti Muslim sentiment going around. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not Muslim, I'm Christian, but I have a lot of Muslim friends and Christian friends. There's a lot of ignorance because of social media. Yeah. Absolutely. Somebody will read something about ISIS doing something or Boko Haram, and they assume that all Muslims yeah. are like that. Yeah. Yeah. I was somewhere recently and they had said, you know, somebody had, we were praying basically, and you know, we said in Jesus' name for the Christians, and somebody said their prayer, and the person that was Christian that was talking to me said, isn't that what the Muslims say just before they bomb somewhere? They said, Alhamdulillah. And I was like, excuse me, no. Where do you get this from? <laughs> oh, social media, every time that they show some Muslims bombing somebody, that's what they usually say. And I said, no, it isn't. That's not what mm. it means. No, no, it is. You know, all these Muslims yeah. are out to kill us. And I was like, oh, please. <laughs> I mean, the other day, I think we, we wow. chatted briefly on Twitter mm. when, I mean, this is totally unrelated. We're talking about oh, someone who did an act of kindness. Mm. And I feel like because of the craziness in the world today, even when someone is trying to just be nice, yes. everything is misconstrued. Yeah. And I think that's why I blame the technology Balanli mentioned, because this, these things have always been, mm. I agree. Yeah. But there was a huge disconnect, which social media has now brought to our doorsteps. Yes. It's no longer disconnected, because as I said earlier, mm -hmm. you go to places like France, normally you go there on holiday, mm -hmm. and you don't think you're going for a concert in Germany or concerts you know, in America, and, and then you go out and laugh, do you know what I mean? So, or you, you go and have a drink in a, in, a, in, a, in a bar. The one that paid me the most was the gay bar. It's, it's, it's not oh, your sad. place to judge. Yeah. Like, yeah. And tell me, what, let, let let me tell let me what's most so funny. Someone said, oh, someone, I know someone who was telling an ugly person, oh, they walked into a bar, so I should hey, are you serious? You know, but do again. Eh. Eh, <laughs> you know, that, you know yeah. we're gonna we're gonna continue yeah. that discussion. Yeah. We're talking about World Peace Day today. The discussion will continue, and I have a question for everybody seated at the table when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Why are you thinking that this person deserves to die? Why do you think that no, no, you know, it all starts with the mind, and that's what I just believe we need to even do first to change people's change mindsets. Change people's mindsets yeah. first. <laughs> Welcome back to Moments Nigeria Girls Talk. Today we are talking about world peace as it is World Peace Day. And in the studio with us is BJ Adams and Nikki Lawe. Now I know before the break, Michelle, you wanted to ask a question. Yeah, I just wanted to ask <coughs> both our guests, um, especially, especially you, Nikki, because you talked about the fact that you work with people in internally displaced camps. If you had the power, um, what would you do to, to create world peace? Um, I, I will go back to something that we did when we started this um, campaign. Um, I got a lot of artists involved and what I did or where, where I, I thought of working with first of all is the mind like we talked about earlier on people's mindsets and what I did was I talked to my fellow artists I called Shei, Shei, Waje, Samuel Po so everybody I said please can you send me a quote I made each one of them to send me a quote that I need to put out pictures with you and your quote and mm -hmm. I want us to all put this out on social media we did this about two years ago we've been running it over and I was like I want people to see these words mm -hmm. let's tell people love one another watch out for one another and I just feel that it all starts from the mind like we've been saying earlier on why are you thinking that this person deserves to die why do you think that no no you know it all starts with the mind and that's what I just believe we need to even do first to change people's change mindsets, people's yeah. mindsets first. What about you, Adam? Uh, I clearly agree I know it starts with um, us as individuals we need to change people's mindsets we need to start to live as human beings and forget about wherever you're from whatever religion you represent because there's so much of that going on um, and it affects us beyond the violence that goes on even as as little as marriage you can hear, oh, oh I can't even get married to him Very because I mean, he's from whatever. Oh, he's Muslim. No, no, he, she's Christian. I can't. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to forget about all of that and live as human beings. When we start to live as human beings, I believe the world would be a better place to live in. You know, I think it's, it's interesting that we're talking about this. But, you know, the question I ask myself is every day, like, what am I doing to make sure that the people in the north feel like we who live in the south of Nigeria are connected to them? Yeah. And I think that's the problem, right? Like, people's yeah. pain 
is external. We can't internalize oh, it. Yeah. Or because of there's so much chaos, a lot of times school, I don't yeah. sit down to say, ah, mm. this person is suffering. How can I do to yeah. make that, mm -hmm. make him better? Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it's a situation where, yeah, generally we do need to treat each other more like human beings, but human beings will always be human beings. We're very, very selfish mm -hmm. and self-absorbed sure. and we care only about our own pain. And it's hard to process someone else's pain, which is the reason why on social media you'll be hurting someone. And you'd be saying yeah. things and to them that if real. you sat down, you could never say that to my face. Yeah. So yeah, why would you true. say that online? Do you, do you know the funny thing is, I also feel like, I keep going back to this disconnect. Yeah, I feel like when you hear some sad story or someone break, and mm -hmm. you're going back to your gated community, your safe life, mm -hmm. where you don't have any worries, it's hard to internalize yeah. what that other person Very is true. going through. So I think that even as parents and even in schools, I mean, when I heard very recently that in some schools history wants to be scrapped or government instead of taught or some crazy thing like that it was in the news of and i thought why because this is the kind of thing that would make people growing up or grow up without without realizing that there's so much more outside of where you live yeah. people just need to True. take a moment to step outside of their comfort zone sometimes that i know people that would take their kids to orphanages take mm -hmm. their kids to, so that they can have a sense of humanity oh, because yeah. you're so gated very by true. your high walls building the nation remember that point you don't see what your neighbor is going through it's very like true. i have a question for you guys and I'm curious to find out when did you find out about the Biafra war were you taught Biafra war in school uh, I can't remember I, I, was I wasn't talking no. they teach you in school no. they did not teach us about the Biafra war in school. in school and I remember I first learned about it from half of how is it possible that a war that was that tragic and most evil people still remember mm -hmm. right. most evil people who are they're still alive mm -hmm. they yeah, lived true. through it mm -hmm. it's not I mean, taught it in school it was mentioned in school no, it, wasn't, it, was it was mentioned in my school but it wasn't i knew there was biafra war mm -hmm. we in always secondary was in school, school but yes. in primary school you have to have taken history yeah in primary yeah. school in social studies they didn't mention that's it. what i'm saying that in, in some schools in nigeria, i don't know if you guys read the news in nigeria they're trying to and I, i'm thinking so much has happened now the kids need to know about the guys that stole they need to know no. about the guys who went to prison. Mm -hmm. They need to know about the people who, you know, killed it's people. It's, it's so, so essentially, it starts from home. So even yeah. if you're not learning it in school, yes. it's important for parents to make sure that they educate their children, Very you know, true. make them aware of certain things that either that they have gone through, That's whether right. you've gone yeah. through the Biafran War, or make your children aware of the fact that you're the same, whether you're Christian, yeah, Muslim, yeah, yeah. or Buddhist, helps whatever. Exactly. Still yeah. a kid. I think that's, you know? that's the problem. Yeah. Like, that. that's uh, the problem. like you right? said, it's right? very make important. Sure children, parents, yeah. parents and guardians, they need yeah. to have a major role to play. And even your siblings as well. My siblings, they make an effort to um, constantly drag me along because I have a few sisters that do this humanitarian work back and forth on different issues, mm. you know. Um, and the last time I was having a chat with my sister, she was telling me about a family, a family of a woman who's been married three times and sadly, her husband have, have died wow. three times, mm -hmm. you know, wow. so she can't, she can barely cater for her kids, about seven kids or so. Oh, wow. They can barely pay their rent and it's just pathetic. Those little issues happen mm -hmm. to people every day beyond the Boko Haram bombings and every other yeah. thing that happens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like you said, it's very important parents and guardians, they carry the children along um, and they make sure, I think as a matter of fact, schools as well should make sure it's something yeah, you do daily yeah, or maybe true. weekly or something very like true. that. But I do think that, you know, again, history repeats itself if history is not taught, right? Yeah. Yes. So which is, which is what's happening yeah, now. Which is what's, what's happening, happening now. now. What's happening it's now. because of, we don't know the history of our country, mm. so we're doing the exact same thing again. Yeah. People can just be just a little bit more tolerant. Like even, let's even leave our country. Look at the whole world now. I keep going, what would make someone just walk into a place and just shoot? It's okay not America to like me. Like, you know, <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that one is, that's, we are well, sitting okay, here talk about America, America for hours. It, but it doesn't only happen in America. Yeah. Yeah, was it last year also on the train in Europe where some guys took down somebody who was trying to, it just, it, it's, it's just crazy. crazy. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay not to like someone. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you just respect, respect, teach boundaries, yeah. respect, yeah. tolerance. Yeah, I completely yeah. agree with you. Like, Bird Rabbit would say, put some respect on it. <laughs> so we're going to come, we're going to come back shortly and we're going to continue the conversation afterwards. We're going to be talking about celebrity secrets or possibly a throwback picture. I'm trying to collect the report sheet and I see that I came seventh. I actually the seventh to two. Now, you know two. Okay. If you come yeah, yeah, second, yeah. they'll change yeah. the TH yeah. to ND on top. Okay, put seven. They had put seven TH. TH. Okay. Then I changed the seven to two, I leaving the TH. <laughs> Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk Nigeria. We have been talking about world peace with Nikki Laoye and Vijay Adams. Now it's time for us to move away from all that deep 
<laughs> talk because it's very deep, but yes, it's, it's, it's necessary. Actually. And I hope you've learned one or two oh, things boy. from it. I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> Let's move on to the question of the day, and it is How far would you go to ensure your peace of mind? I'll start with you. How far will I go to ensure my peace of mind? I'll go as far as I can as a human being to make sure I am peaceful from deep within because. That one is just with the logical answer. How far will you block people? If you are negative, we just block them. No, no, the, 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 the thing is, the good, the good thing about social media is you have only one chance to be stupid <laughs> yes. before I block you. One chance. <laughs> just one chance. One I mean, chance. I see it, I'm blo yep, I'm blocked you. I can't see you again forever and ever. So you don't get into a discussion with For what's the last time? Mm -mm, There's no time. time for so that. So you believe in walking away? Taking no, you walk away, walk away. But there are times when you need to, you know. Put someone in check. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to put check. them in check. So one time I remember someone tweeted at me and said, I think stop singing, and I reply, I said, stop breathing. Ooh, okay. Mm. You know, so just mm. once in a while, just mm. give them. Mm. Uh, stop. I like that, uh -huh. give them. Mm. <laughs> stop, stop breathing. No, 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 no I'm, in, I'm in the same box. Let me put it that way. I've done that to a lot of people. I'll make sure I reply you first. I'll allow you to see the reply, then I'll now block you. Mm. But there are some like this, I'll just see, I'll say, hey, delete, block, 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 block. But, but, but know, away from, but away from social, social media. media. Yeah. Yeah. We're just sticking to social media. But I'm just media, even trying to say I would go as far as yes, I need I to. I need my peace of mind, please. This so if you had, if you had enough. friends that were, were stressing you or re even relatives, you cut them off. Oh no, cut I, it. I can do cut it. it. <laughs> <laughs> cut it. Cut yes, it. Cut it. No, but truthfully, I would do. I would do the best I can to actually talk to you. I'm someone that likes. I don't like to not to let you know how I'm feeling. I will tear you my my mind if you accept it. Five not bye. 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 Yeah. Um, I like to keep you my peace of mind immediately. Like if you do anything to me that I really don't like, I tell you right there and yeah, then. Right there and, and then. I try and changing on. actually. When I was much younger, I was very confrontational. I would, hey, you said this about um. me. I had time on my hands. I think as you grow older, and as yeah. you get busier, I don't need to tell you what you're doing wrong. You'll know. Honey, if you don't know, maybe Jesus can help you. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, because you know, God says. Leave, try, just try to <laughs> live at peace with all men. Yeah. Doesn't right. mean you will be successful. Mm -hmm. So as far as I can, I think personally for me, what length would I go? Anything that doesn't make me happy, feed my soul, add money in my pocket, that does not grow me, yeah. is taken from me. And I don't have the time for you to take from me. <laughs> so you might not even know I'm gone. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We can see, ah, oh, we're cool. Hey, you're all right, but mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. just yeah. true. What about you? I agree, I totally agree. And I, I don't know if it's only because of getting older, but I think it has something to do with living in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> because, you no, really, you, you, have, you, have, to you have to protect, yourself. thank you, you have to protect yourself, you, you have to protect, yeah. Yourself. Yeah. You have to protect yeah. your peace of mind, yeah. Yeah. because on a daily basis, there are things that are going to, excuse my French, piss you off. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. um, so you have to, and, yeah. and like Toka said, it's either you move away from it slowly, and then like you said, if it's a particular person, you see them, oh, hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to meet up. Yeah, 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 we'll meet up, but you know, but I don't, so like, I don't want to stress yeah. myself. I'm so I, really, I don't, I don't thing. have, no, but I don't I really have to have confrontation. I really, can, I really can't do, do that. It depends on the person. Depends on. Well, listen, if I'm done with you, you know I'm done <laughs> with you. I'm going to ignore you so much, you're going to doubt your existence. But, but the thing is, I'm having to work with that situation like that, 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 that is that the person will confront you and then like, want to discuss it further. Exactly. Because a lot of times people will be like, but what happened? I thought we were cool. Oh, you don't want to get into that discussion. You're not having, let me tell you what it's it is. Feisty. Let me tell you what it is. You now have, you're not carrying it grudge no no it's not no people like to pretend i don't think you've caught this person it's just that you don't want to i just like to be clear that you've ignored the person in two places where people. you can't they don't know they exist that's a grudge <laughs> <laughs> right. just okay grudge. but i will really share quickly share no i'm good I, really, I agree with everything you guys okay. have said right. yeah. so, so adams is quite feisty like you don't want to run into him in the streets and come <laughs> inside it's also because men are very honest when it comes to that kind of thing well, when you guys have i thought men were more yes no no men talk to their friends they get over it okay all right Okay, so let's move on to um, what we like to do with our guests. It's a tradition right. we have on the show. If you come in a moment, you have to either share a celebrity secret or throw back picture. For you, I think it's secret because you're feisty. So tell us one experience, cut you, cut it off, cut you, ignore you till you are not dead. No, no, but no. no. Okay, so I remember, I remember, I think I was in nursery two or nursery three. No, 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 I was in primary. You started that early? No, no, it was, no, it was something very funny, I'll tell you. I think I was in primary three. Now, because in my mind I was a bad guy, I usually come first in school. You know, so this time around, I think I played too much. I came seventh. Oh, wow. No, that wasn't the problem. Oh, so I'm in school. I'm trying to collect the report sheet, and I see that I came seventh, and I was scared that my dad was going to kill me. Daddy, are you watching? <laughs> I was scared I was going to kill me, so this is what I did. But I was very stupid. 
So I tried to change the seven oh. to... Oh. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. I tried to change the seven. Hold on. I tried to change the seven to two. <laughs> now, you know two. Okay. If you come yeah, yeah, second, yeah. they'll change yeah. the TH yeah. to ND on top. Okay. okay, put seven. They had put seven <laughs> TH. TH. Okay. Then I changed the seven to two, and leaving the TH. Oh. Kill me, somebody. <laughs> you just said your teacher made Just kill me. Somebody. Just kill me. What, what happened to you? No, of course, they caught me now. They beat, they beat the sh out of me. That's happened to me before. So oh. yeah. I used to taste that. <laughs> really same thing. I changed my book card and my dad caught me. I was so scared. I said, if you change it, I'm going to become a thief. But I, I remember you became a thief. It was funny. Anything that, that you did as a cook when you were a kid, they said you become a thief. thief. You'll be a new success in life. <laughs> what about you, Nikki? Well, do I really have secrets? I can't really think. Something of. nobody knows about you. Something nobody knows. Do you have any quirky habits? You bite your nails. You sleep with the lights on. You, uh, you walk around the house naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I try to think about the okay, I'm trying to think of which crazy one to talk of. Maybe we should have uh, let you go first. Don't be pressured on that, Adam. <laughs> Adam just... Okay, people don't know I'm a video game freak. Okay. Oh, oh really? You play video games. Oh yeah, you. What do you play? PS. Oh, uh, PS. So I grew up with three brothers. I, wait, wait. Uh, let me ask you this: Are you on Pokemon Go? Uh, no, no. I'm, you I'm you not. I'm intentionally not. No, no, no. I don't want to run mad. I don't want to run mad like everyone is running crazy. So, they can't enter. They're actually entering the, the road. You yeah. know, and some people are getting hit by cars Twice. because they are chasing the Pokemon. Wow. Yeah, it could be in the middle of the road. So. So you see the Pokemon see, but, uh, actually uh, virtually in real life. In real. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Yes. What? I need wow. But I ain't doing that. No. No, yeah. I'm more of the Street Fighter, you know, okay. Mortal Kombat kind of. Uh -huh. So yeah, What's that? a lot of people don't know that. Mortal I do Kombat that. is really, isn't it like kind of violent? Isn't it violent video um, game? You just like shoot things. Mm -hmm. No, no, that one is there. Uh, well, uh, well, it's well, just uh, self-defense. Yeah, self-defense. Yeah, yeah. oh. yeah. 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 yeah, well, this, this has been a very interesting episode. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Thank I would you. love to have you again, Adam. Thank you. He's very feisty. No. I do not want to be on the wrong side with you. And then well done with all the work, the humanitarian work you're doing. Thank you very much. You could invite us to the IDP camps next. We'll definitely come. Yeah. Thank I you. Hope we can do that. Coming up next is in a nutshell.